Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to Guacamelee. Let's break this. Where it, it's kind of weird to have a, try to even fight a fight like this, considering there's this there's an enemy that's in the land of the living, and no matter what I do, that bird is gonna just attack me. This guy's gonna attack me and I can't do anything about it. I can kill this one, but until I look uh, until I learn the ability to switch between the land of the living and the dead by myself whenever I want, which clearly has to happen. Like if we somehow beat the game and we don't have that ability, or I don't know, maybe if that's only in New Game Plus, it, it would be a very strange and wrong way to make it the, the game. So we're running the public co because we think the girl uh, who Calico's mistreating might give us some information. I think I probably have enough to buy an upgrade. I do, but not the upgrades I want. I want to get the shield breaker first. See, here's just a feast in the forest. Just because this is the dead world doesn't mean we're down all the time. Take today, for instance. I'm preparing a great feast for all of my amigos. Look at all this food. I'd invite you to join, Luchador, but you seem to have an urgent matters to attend. I can see the determination in your eyes. So, she is down here, but we're in the world of the dead version of the city. We haven't been here before, so things are going to be slightly different. Like, maybe more than slightly feel different. Let's go to the Agave field where we started the game and see what the world of the dead looks like here. Here we can see a path we can unlock. We're hearing snakes and wolves. Let's go see what our... The, the sun is black, by the way. And our house isn't here. Interesting. So instead of a, a house being here, there's a statue. Hmm. So your house is built on like a dead burial ground or something. As best as I can figure. Hmm. Let's go this way too. Hmm. I want to go to the El Presidente's. This is where we got the mask. Now we missed something the first time we were here and got the mask is we didn't go into this room place. And there's also a thing here. Oh, right up here behind a thing was a box. And so if we got that, that may be the only thing to actually collect. So sneakily hidden. Unfortunately, I guess we're going to do a lot of back and forth. I'm going to go down here and see if this unlocks something in totally new. And it does, and I can't go back up because the highest platform is right there. Which means this was the path that I shouldn't have taken. I should have tried all the other rooms first, but we'll come back and try. It seems almost certainly we're going to get the ability to switch between the two realms from the, the lady. Whether by defeating her or by her deciding to help us. Luchador, how did you find me here? 
I'm not really in the mood. I've got a headache. Just leave me to my loneliness. You want me to help you? You men are all the same. Charming and available when you want something. Like completely occupied as soon as an annoying entitled prissy trout enters the picture. Just like that jerk Kawaka. Sigh. Luchador, I'm sorry to lose my composure. I'm just not used to being so neglected. Is it too much to ask for a little affection? We can be... We can all be lonely at times, can't we, Luchador? In need of some tenderness, some emotion, some arousal. Do I get a yes or no on it? I don't see anything wrong with what she's saying, so... Uh... Let's... Uh, not turn it down. Uh, the, the one issue here is while well, Juan is trying to say the president's dialer, we don't know if he's in love with her or if he just likes her as a friend or if he's just feeling that he's morally obliged to try to help and be the good guy. So I get to make this moral decision from my own perspective and I'm like, mm -hmm. why not? Yes. Come to me, Luchador. Take me in your belly arms. Predictable fool. Soon you'll be my slave. Then I can have some real fun. Extabe. I've never heard of a name called Extabe. So, I tried to... I tried to be nice. Now I'm gonna have to be mean. I guess being a video game, that's probably predictable. I have to be careful, I'm gonna die. I'm about to die. Gotta get in these guys. I'm about to die. Hmm. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I gotta avoid these attacks. This is killing me way too much. Come on. I got into half a health. Hmm. Uh, what am I missing here? I've got to avoid, maybe I'm supposed to dodge, like dodge and then, no because purple white is the unavoidable attacks, so I've got to get it in the right position and then knock it up and uh, look it up and, and not take this damage. 
And see, it feels like the game is going easy on me, even, and I'm still getting my keys to handle them. Let's see, move list. Down cut, B can be done in the air. Uh, frog slam, down in B. Uh, wall grab. Grapple, left in B, down in B, up in B. I should just avoid her and then get the uppercut and then try try nothing else really. I guess I'm gonna take the safe route here. Try to avoid her attack. Put her in a half waypoint. Just give up, Luchador, your fate is sealed. You will not leave this cave alive. Hopefully, what I'm going to be able to do is play it safe, and if I do this each time and do a frog splash on him, how amusing that you presume to have the strength to defeat me. Many men have come to my lair before you. Their skulls adorn the walls. One needs to be ground bound, and one needs to be an uppercut, and one needs to. So at least this is halfway through. It did save that far. Color sequence is slightly hard to follow. To, to instantly know that that was an unavoidable attack. But okay. And I thought I'd miss it. How amusing, we get to this again, and I'm at half health here, so let's just try to beat on her as much as possible. And... Right. We're almost to the point where we can take her out. Alright. 
to remember which button does the headbutt. Come on. Could regenerate. I want to hold on to as much of the intenso mode first, though. Finally, it took a lot of times. Oh, Luchador, perhaps I underestimated you, but I think we're just in different places right now. I will spare your life. You know, Carlos wasn't always such a bad guy. He once ha he was once handsome and brave, not unlike you. So, Carlos Calaco, maybe you'll, maybe you'd like to hear his story. Alright, we're getting a little bit more backstory, although the last time we saw backstory it was just an animation. Before he became Calaca, Carlos was known as El Charo. People called him the pinnacle of Korea. Only one event had eluded him, La Gran Chorita. I don't know what those two words are. Is willing to do whatever it took to win it. The night before the competition, he broke his arm. He was devastated and did the unthinkable. There's the devil. In exchange for his soul, Carlos won the competition. I think that's the one where he dances with the castanets and mariachi. His flesh rotted and he was dragged to the world of the dead. Carlos felt cheated, but he never got the glory he wanted so badly. He swore he would get it, have his, his revenge. Carlos challenged the devil to a cockfight. The devil always liked challenges. With my help, Carlos turned the devil into a rooster. Hey, there's spoiling this prize already. I thought that was going to be revealed later. And took over the world of the dead. He plans to merge it with the world of the living. To enslave everyone and make everyone praise him. Sigh, maybe the trout was right after all. I deserve better than Kalaka, and someone needs to stop his sorry hands. Kalaka and Flameface have taken prison and he's started to the top of the Temple Wall. No doubt for another one of their asinine rituals. To reach the temple, you must first ascend to the great Tully tree growing from within the forest, but this will require the ability to transverse dimensions. Allow me to bestow this power upon you. Dimensional Swamp. That was easy, wasn't it? Just press right trigger and the, uh, the power is yours. You know what? It never goes well with these bad boy types. I wonder if there's a nice, if that nice fray Ira is single. So she's in both dimensions. And we can go here. Let's talk to her. Dimensional swapping. Just tap right trigger. Now go teach that good for nothing skeleton lord a lesson. Climb the mighty taller tree going in the forest. Does she have anything different to say? No. Nope. This is going to be a tough one. Hmm. So we didn't, we chose not to, to 
completely kill her. Which, okay. Always being nice to the lady in these. Well, usually in games you are. And so we're back. And there's a lot more in the city to search. get too far though. I want to see something. No, there is, I thought there might be a passageway up to the left, but there isn't, so we're good. Viva Carlos, Viva Calaco. So you've got to be in the world of the dead. So you can get in this church, and there's nothing here. It just turns into blackness. Interesting. No, there's something here. It may not be for time yet, though, to get up here. Do this. Like, there's clearly something up here, but it's it's a tough one. Well, maybe there isn't actually. Nope. Actually, there isn't anything up there, is there? We've got a lot of things to we can probably collect and find. So apparently you need four of those. And there's gonna be a considerable amount of variation and versions of things. I guess not as much as I thought, though. Here's a lady. When I was alive, I used to live in this house. I was always... I always enjoyed playing with my favorite toy. A luchador action figure. It was the most fun to play it with. You got the luchador figure. So... Let's give it to her. That's my luchador figure. I'm so glad my mommy kept it. Oh, gosh, senor. Here's a present for you. It can be your own toy. I hope you like it. So. I'm still looking everywhere. Now that I can switch back and forth. There's really no reason why I shouldn't be able to get most, if not everything, in this area. Hmm. This purple thing is still an issue. So there's still one type of door we can't get to. Which means Gave Field is still at zero cents. Uh zero percent. How are we now though? We're at sixty-six percent. And we accomplished that by going in this house. And then this house, and then this house, yeah, we already got everything here, and 
than this house we can get into in the other dimension. So 66% here. And we slick look at this one, we're at 100%. So now our goal is to swing back to the forest and with our new swapping ability running through the forest will help us ensure that we can unlock whatever percentage we can get in the next part of the forest. You see here are a bunch of graves in the world of the living and a bunch of food. How many silver do we have? Low on silver. And so we're back to the forest and we're at 46% and they want me to go to the Tole tree. And there's really nothing else to even uh, find collectible right now, at least. It, it seems that way at the very least, so... As it goes, this is our next destination. But we will at some point need to fast travel here, fast travel here, fast travel here. I. I think we probably are going to have to fast travel here. Uh, it'll probably, it'll definitely be easier to collect everything um, once we have all the abilities. Um, let's see. Santa Lucida, we have a mission to turn in, and we still have that whole fight. That I think will be best done at the very end of the game. So it feels like there's another, uh, effectively another temple here and another temple here. And these might be the extra parts added from Super Trophy Championship Edition. Odds are kind of good that I will want to play this, uh, this game in its original version, or at least for a little bit, to see if the map looks the same. I could probably just start the game after we're done and see. Uh, if everything is completely different, which would be amazing, uh, that would be kind of really, really cool. Because then we could go back and play the game, and if the entire map was in different places and all the uh, puzzles were in, in different places or just different themselves then honestly it would be two games with the same story kind of like a Pokemon Red and a Pokemon Blue which even in that example Pokemon Red and Blue are just the same game with different Pokemon so this would be even more different than that if, I, if, it's, if the map was totally different anyways we've been going almost 30 minutes so that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.